Here in design, we have our cat adoption graphic where we want to change the image, the name, and the age using the data merge tool to save us a lot of time. To do that, we want to make sure we have a list of all of the data that we need and the images that we want replaced. So here I have a spreadsheet of all the cat names and their ages, as well as the image folder of their photograph that should be replaced. To get started, we need a new spreadsheet. I just name it data-merge as a CSV to import into InDesign. Each column will represent a layer in InDesign that we want to replace. So for example, column A will be the name, column B will be the age, and C will be the image where we'll need to use an apostrophe to indicate that this is a text field, and use add image. Um, for the name, I like to make sure the list is in alphabetical order because it makes copy and pasting easier. I copied the name and the age over, and then for the images, I'll go to my image folder and make sure they're sorted by name. So they, the name matches the image. I select all the images, copy, and then I paste it into column D because I'll need to write out the full image path. Um, this folder is named images, so I'll do dash images and then copy that down and use the Excel formula to combine these cells together. So here we have all our three image file paths. And once it's copied, I paste the spec um, as the values into column C and then delete the rest. So now uh, we can import this file. And design will know like one, this column is for name age and this is the image file path to look for. And you can save that file as a .csv, go back to InDesign, and we want to open the data merge panel, which is under Windows, Utilities, Data Merge. There's some instructions here on how to use it if you get lost, but you can open this menu and select Data Source, and that will be the CSV that you just saved. When you open it, you see the T stands for text in the pictures for an image, and this uh, matches the, the labels in our spreadsheet. So you want to do is go to the layer for your name here, Oscar. You can highlight it and then click here in the panel name, and it will replace it with this label with the brackets. Uh, we want to do the same thing for the age, but not select the whole thing, just select the number 5, and then click age, and this will pop up. And then same thing with the image, you just have to select the image, and then click image in the panel. And it'll come up with this dotted line. Um, you can click preview to see each row of data, and what the graphic will look like, and everything looks good. And this is good practice to check if, if there's any line breaks, if you have a long set of text. Once everything looks good, you can uncheck preview, go back to the menu and export to PDF. And you, you can leave everything as default, hit OK. And then from here, you can change your settings on how you want your PDF to be saved. Um, you can change the compression, add marks and bleeds, or uncheck them all if you don't need it. It's, it's really up to what you intend to use these um, images for. Uh, I will be using this for printing, and my printer requests that each file will be separate, so um, I want to check this create separate PDF files and make sure the suffix is incremental numbers. And then when I hit export, um, I want to name this PDF with one 
word to make the file name simple and I put an underscore so there is a spacing um, when the files are exported and I'll hit save. Um, when you have a like maybe 200 files it may take a little longer for InDesign to process since this was only three files um, you can see it's pretty fast and here is the folder name cat underscore and then each image as a PDF. Now if I go back and I want all the images together, just uncheck create separate PDFs and then export. And then I can name this cat to save it. And we can see that there is just one big file PDF for all the cat images. And that's it.